Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we want to discuss using ChatGPT from OpenAI and we want to feed it the prompts to assist us in writing a business proposal. So the use case I'm going to be using today is more focused on an ICT company, but you can use this regardless of the industry you find yourself in. This can be used if you're running a bakery or if you have a large-scale turnkey services business. I've chosen the ICT field um, for the use case today. So without further ado, let's move on and uh, let's start unpacking the prompts that we can use to put together a very powerful business proposal uh, using ChatGPT. So today we'll uh, use ChatGPT to prepare the following use case. We're doing a business proposal on behalf of a phantom IT company. And what we're going to show today is how to properly feed ChatGPT with the info required. So you don't sit with a problem where it's garbage in, garbage out into the system. Next, from an engineering perspective, we are going to feed ChatGPT with the requirements of the proposal we need to do. And we are going to get ChatGPT to produce a full technical proposal for this customer for us. Then, finally, we're going to put our sales hat on. We're going to prompt uh, ChatGPT properly. And we're going to get it to create a pricing proposal and a quote directly out of ChatGPT. Save that in a HTML file for us. And then, finally, we are going to have ChatGPT draft up an email for our proposal, a template we can use, um, and have it write up the email response directly to the customer. So let's get started. If you want to follow along, get yourself logged into your OpenAI account. Uh, you can access uh, ChatGPT using chat.openai.com. Uh, open up a new chat and let's get started. Now, first, we want to spend proper time with feeding ChatGPT with the requirements it needs. And, and it's worthwhile to note, the more time we spend telling the system what we're after, the better information we'll get out. And, and we'll see that now when it assists us in drafting the technical proposal and drafting the quote we can send to the customer. And the more details we give it in the beginning, the more it can assist us when we get to things like drafting the template email that we want to send through to this customer. So let's start feeding the information into the system. Now I've started a new chat on uh, ChatGPT and I asked it, can we discuss the engineering side of a business proposal? And then I've got a reply. Of course, I'd be happy to discuss the engineering side of a business proposal with you. Please provide me with more information about your business proposal and the specific aspects of engineering you would like this to discuss. So let's go ahead and prime our prompts that we want to feed into ChatGPT. Now I formulated a prompt uh, just to give ChatGPT an idea what's coming down the pipe. And the prompt I've chosen to start this discussion with reads, our company is called Vision Worldwide. Now, this is our Phantom IT company we're using. Uh, we provide turnkey platform as a service and infrastructure as a service hosting solutions. So they host stuff and service and all weird and wonderful things. And I'm asking ChatGPT to confirm that she understands this prompt and that we can on confirm on the way forward. So let's submit this and see what is being returned by the system. And we have a reply out of the system. Um, it's returned the following answer. So it's saying, yes, I understand that your company, Vision Worldwide, the company name we chose, provides platform as a service. And then she supplies the definition of what it is, platform and infrastructure as a service. And she goes on past refers to a cloud computing model where your company offers a platform for customers to develop, run and manage applications without the complexity of building and maintaining the underlying infrastructure. So she understands the business model and what we're offering into the market. There's a high level understanding of what we're after. 
we can now go ahead and feed in the technical requirements here and get ChatGPT to assist us with doing the technical proposal for this customer. Now that ChatGPT understands what we offer as a company, it's time to start priming a couple of prompts uh, to start telling the system what our customer is after. And this is still part of supplying ChatGPT with quality info uh, so we can just get better output out of the system. So my prompt, the next prompt that I prepared reads, we have a customer called MM Trading. They require a hosting proposal to host their service with us in our private cloud. Can you un confirm that you understand the requirement? So let's go ahead and submit this prompt. And here the system returns a response saying, yes, I understand that your customer MM Trading is looking for a hosting proposal to host service in this phantom IT company's private cloud infrastructure. Um, it's intelligent enough to know that MM Trading is in the market to outsource their hosting requirement instead of managing itself. And because we started this chat on the engineering side, it's uh, now delving into the technical proposal that we want to get out of the system next. So it's saying to create a comprehensive hosting proposal for MM Trading, there are several engineering considerations to be addressed. And these are now the topics in the tech talk. And these can be extensive and all of them covered. And maybe this is a one liner quote with a brief response. And as I said, in all industries, this can be panel beta to suit your requirement. But in this use case, the system has returned, okay, we need to prepare a, a, a technical doc covering the following areas. We need to look at the infrastructure design. Uh, we'll obviously need to talk about server specifications, the network connectivity involved, the security measures that we need to put in place. It knows we need to look after the services side of things, so it's recommending there should be a SLA in place. Um, we are hosting equipment on behalf of another customer, so the AI is intelligent enough to say, well, get some backup and disaster recovery in place. Then you want to be offering monitoring and support. You want your solution to be scalable and flexible, so the system needs to address that. Then we'll end off with the pricing and billing required, and then obviously the adherence to governance and compliance regulations worldwide. We can have the AI system address this. Now that we've got a recommendation from ChatGPT on all the areas we could most likely cover in our, in our response, we want to start narrowing this down by just feeding in a bit more detailed specs into the system so that we can actually craft the response we're after and the uh, message we want to send out to the customer. So let's go ahead and submit the next prompt and just get some spec read into the system. And now here we can see that we get a lot better response. So we've updated the prompt. We've told the system that the customer would like to only host two servers with us. They require eight CPUs, 96 gig of RAM, and five terabyte of storage space. And we can see the AI has now taken this into account and it's regenerated its response. Now we can see ChatGPT has taken the updated spec into account. Here it's confirmed the spec that we supplied. Customer needs two servers, eight CPUs, 96 gig of RAM and five terabyte storage. And here it started working it into the planning saying, okay, in the server specifications, ensure that each server meets or exceed the requested spec, eight CPUs, 96 gig of RAM, and then it's also updated the storage provisioning. And, and it's reminding us, we need to clarify how we will uh, provide the required five terabyte of storage for the customer. Um, and as I said, you can now feed in more prompts, uh, maybe for the bandwidth or other areas in here, and it will continuously update that. I'm not going to make an extensive video on each and every element, so let's use what we've got and we're going to get it to write a, a tech doc for us. So let's go ahead and get that started. Here's the final prompt I compiled to get the AI to do the technical write-up for us. So I've crafted the following prompt. 
please create a technical write-up as an executive summary. So it's just a short form. We can send to the customer MM Trading for us to host their servers using the specifications supplied above, uh, the CPU, RAM and storage. And then I went a bit further, gave it some more info. We will host the service in our private cloud in our New York data center using our HP server clusters. So let's get ahead, so, uh, go ahead and submit this prompt and see what the AI returns for us. So marvelous, here's the technical response chat GPT produced. And you can see this response is structured for us to be able to use this in various formats. This can either be used as input into a cover letter, um, it can be used as input into a elaborate and extensive technical write-up, or it could be used as an email template. So let's go ahead and unpack ChatGPT's response. And here we've got our final technical response. And we can see ChatGPT took into account the technical uh, information that we supplied. So let's quickly see what's returned that we can start sending off to the customer. So it's the uh, insert uh, customer name. We are pleased to present our hosting proposal for MM Trading server requirements. As discussed, we understand your need to host two servers with the specific CPU, RAM and storage. We are confident that our private cloud infrastructure located in our secure New York data center will meet or exceed your expectations. And as supplied, uh, these are the details we uh, engineered into the last prompt we supplied. And here's our technical executive summary. At our company, we specialize in providing turnkey hosting solution, offering platform as a service and infrastructure as a service op options. Our state-of-the-art private cloud infrastructure, supported by high-performance HP clusters, ensure a reliable and secure hosting for businesses like yours. And here, uh, the requirements we supplied were taken into the key features of the solution. So again, we've got the infrastructure and now it's updated with the HP clusters that we're hosting the solution on. We've got the service specifications. We will provision two servers that meet the specific requirements of 8 vCPUs, 96 gig of RAM and 5 terabytes worth of storage. These servers are carefully selected to provide optimal performance and resource allocation for your applications and data. Then it's taken into account we are hosting this in our New York data center. Our data center in New York offers a highly secure and geographically strategic location. It is equipped with advanced security measures, redundant power supplies, and robust network connectivity to ensure uninterrupted service availability. Now, obviously, before you start sending out information, you'll ensure that everything is fit to your business and to your use case and that this write-up matches what the expectation is that you want to supply to through to the customer. But I think this gives you a good idea of what is possible using ChatGPT and how it can assist with the technical side of things when uh, a technical write-up might be required for the customer. I think next we'll quickly uh, showcase just how to do the pricing as well, utilizing ChatGPT. Now let's go ahead, let's see if we can get ChatGPT to prepare the pricing for us and actually produce a quote in HTML that we can edit and send off to the customer. For the pricing, I prepared the following prompt. We charge one US dollar per CPU, one dollar per one gig of RAM, $1 per terabyte of storage. Please produce a quote for the customer on a nicely formatted quote template with a table showing all pricing. Please produce this quote in HTML and only quote on the CPU, RAM and storage. Let's go ahead and enter this prompt into ChatGPT and let's see what the AI produce. And here we go. ChatGPT took our input pricing and spec, and as requested, it produced an HTML file for us. Uh, I can go ahead, I'll select this piece of HTML code, I'll just copy it here, I'll save this, uh, transport this to Notepad, save it as an HTML file on my PC, 
Let's open up the quote and see what ChatGPT came up with. Now if I open the HTML file, this is what ChatGPT produced. And how cool is that? We've got a nicely formatted HTML quote that we can panel beat and send along to customers. It's correctly taken our input and populated descriptions. It's correctly carried over the quantities. It's correctly carried over the rates. And it's worked out our totals for us. And I think hopefully this video showcases the power of ChatGPT. We've utilized this to assist us on the engineering side and we've now concluded with the sales side on producing a, a quote for us that we can send to customers. So if you found any value in this video, please consider liking and subscribing and keep an eye out for future videos we release on technology. See you soon on Stuff About Stuff.